Hello everyone, this is Ashish. Welcome back to Talk 4712. Today we are going to talk about a topic very important for all those who are appearing for any government job in the technical field. We are going to talk about engineering services examination. Now a lot of you guys these days are I'm sure very reluctant to appear for that examination and for very good reasons because of the seats decreasing and that will be something which is very very common for gate examination as well the number of psus attached to gate examination are decreasing that means that if you just say seats through gate examination is also decreasing but listen carefully when i say this that gate and engineering services examinations are the most important examinations for the technical domain of core branches this is something which has not changed because these are the primary examinations in the technical field and all the competitive examinations that you see all the psu examinations that you see they basically derive questions from these two examinations only even isro and barc written tests are just combination of certain percentage of mixture of gate and engineering services examination and that is why we have seen throughout the history of the past decade that the people who have performed good in gate and engineering services or even either one of those examinations have always performed spectacular fashion in all the other examinations right so the reason is that all the examination derive their questions from these two examination and that is the prime reason why even though i was never serious for engineering services examination so much so that i never ever studied the 10 subjects of the general studies part but i did appear in engineering services prelims examination in both 2017 and in 2018 at least to test my technical aspect because the subjects which are going to be colliding or going to be same in other examinations as well at least that part you can certainly test that what do you need to work upon and above anything else because of the simple pattern of engineering services where there are no calculators one question one minute kind of thing not that conceptual heavily focused towards speedy calculation and sometimes huge amount of theoretical questions because of that it is very much aligning to all the psu examinations that are going to be there in next year or that you are going to be facing which i'm very sure these days we are having at least 6 to 7 examinations every year and because of that students have to appear in all of these examination the good part is that your career is not relying only on 3 hours of one particular examination the bad part is that you have to be ready for a diverse kind of examination but just saying that you have to be appearing for six seven different examination does not mean that you have to prepare for that vast array array of uh, subjects it's just basically only two examination gate examination and engineering services examination i'm pretty sure all of you guys are going to be appearing for gate examination what i think a lot of you guys are not going to do is appear for engineering services examination as well now don't get me wrong if your target is not to become an ias officer i'm not going to tell you to prepare 100% focus towards ese examination but at least that technical part is going to be very helpful and especially for mechanical engineering so listen to me carefully what you need to do number 1 if you are not serious about engineering services examination what you should be doing now i was exactly in this position so what you should be doing is just focus on the subjects which are same as gate examination subjects for example for mechanical engineering it would be heat transfer thermodynamics fluid mechanics thermodynamics strength of material all those subjects even refrigeration and air conditioning some extent of ic engine little part of material science but then there will be some subjects like cnc coding huge part of power plant engineering and there will be some subjects which are not important there will be some chapters of some subject which will be not coinciding with your gate syllabus or the examinations like isro examination so those part you can leave but the part which is coinciding you should be preparing well for it to a level that you're performing just as anyone who is serious about engineering services examination because 
these people who are serious about engineering services examination do you think that they are not going to sit for gate examination or psu examination it works the other way around as well they are going to be appearing for all of these psu examination as well and if their preparation is to that level because trust me the number of questions that has appeared in engineering services examination is a maximum no other examination compares to it because the number of questions per examination is high at the same time these examinations have been happening for huge number of years and has taken place every year i understand and you do as well that the number of seats are very low but the good part is that engineering services examination prelims is going to be in february all right and then a lot of examinations will be taking place and then your mains will be in june but if nothing works out and you clear the prelims then if you sit for mains you can just look at it like an opening for a job so it opens a new opportunity now even though i was not very serious but a lot of people did give the examination just like a job so it opens a new avenue which can provide you a job if nothing else works out but i will say though if you really want to crack prelims examination of engineering services only technical part will not be sufficient you will have to study general studies as well which includes current affairs and there are nine other subjects like environments material science and all those things you will have to study that as less as it might be but you will have to study otherwise the competition will be studying that so if you are confident that you are having the sufficient amount of time to prepare for engineering services only then give it to that extent that i will be appearing for mains examination and the preparation of mains examination and prelims examinations are completely different because mains examination will be subjective type so you will be writing a lot of things to practice that kind of examination how you should be writing all of those things will be extremely important so make your decision accordingly but at least this is something that you can do is appear for engineering services prelims examination in a way as it is a test or a way which will tell you what are the loopholes in your game which will be helping you in a lot of other psu examinations and also if you study current affair and general awareness for engineering services examination it will be helping in you in a lot of psus because like we saw hpcl and hal examination there were general awareness as less as it might be like even 20 marks but if you're ready with that it will be helping and we'll be seeing a lot of psus which will be having that part so it will be helpful for you for example ravi verma who was in the podcast a few episodes back he was actually preparing for upsc but because of his preparation of upsc general awareness he was able to perform very well in cil examination and uppsc examination there are a lot of psus that he cracked so in that sense it might be helpful so if you prepare for engineering services in a holistic manner that i want to crack prelims examination certainly it will be helpful but you require more amount of time so if you can invest that much amount of time then make your decision accordingly if you have just six months don't make a new decision because i know that a notification recently came out and you will all of a sudden think that i want to crack engineering services examination as well but then again you cannot really hamper preparation of let us say bark examination or isro examination or gate examination so that is what you should keep in your mind if you have any further questions put it down in the comment section i'm certainly going to reply to it if it is a valid question and that's about it